Hey, the Tone Man here. The video footage you're about to see was recorded late last summer during the time of the large jellyfish swarms here on the Gulf Coast. Today I'm visiting Panama City Beach to snorkel the jetty at St. Andrews State Park. I'm always filled with excitement and anticipation when I arrive for snorkeling. That moment when I clear the dunes and get my first look at the water can be exhilarating or disappointing depending on the wind and water conditions. Well, today I'm not too sure. The beach warning flags are flying yellow and purple. Yellow indicates there is a medium hazard, which means moderate surf, and purple indicates potentially dangerous marine life, such as jellyfish or stingrays. It is a bit windy today, but I'm not sure what the dangerous marine life can be. Upon arriving at the beach, I quickly see that there are lots of comb jellies on shore and in the water. Tons of them. Luckily, comb jellies do not sting. What I do need to watch out for are moon jellies, which sting a little, and sea nettles, which sting a lot. You will see some of these later in the video, along with some amazing sea life, including a very friendly Bermuda blue angelfish. Check the video description below for more information on comb jellies, moon jellies, and sea nettles. So let's navigate this jellyfish minefield and get to snorkeling.
What a day in beautiful Panama City Beach at the jetty at St. Andrews State Park. I love experiencing these snorkeling adventures with family and friends and sharing them with you. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and notification bell to see more videos. Also, you can follow me on social media, The Tone Man Gulf Coast Snorkeling on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those links are listed in the video description below. Thanks for watching.